I'm Danny Surname and I'm scrapping book talks. What I've decided I'm going to do instead is just read a book and talk to you about it because I can clearly not stick to a prescribed formula. Moving swiftly along, what I have just finished reading is Brokeback Mountain, which I didn't realise was a book before it was a movie. My friend left it at my house last night and it's actually a book of short stories and Brokeback Mountain is the last one. And Brokeback Mountain is one of my favourite films. If you haven't seen it, it's a film about these two country guys who get a job herding some sheep on a mountain called Brokeback Mountain. And one cold night they're sharing a tent and somehow they end up having sex. And they never talk about it but it just keeps happening and then eventually after the job's finished they say goodbye and they leave and years later they realise that that was the worst mistake of their life when they said goodbye to each other. And they see each other once or twice a year and have these whirlwind nights of passion because it's the only nights they've got so it's filled with excitement and lust and intimacy and you see it paralleled with kind of their pathetic family lives where they're married to a woman and they've got kids and then you see them with each other and you're watching the movie and you're like seriously just realize that you're in love with each other and the book's exactly the same i was reading it and practically screaming in my head you're in love with him i'm not one for love films but brokeback mountain is one of my favorites because it's these two butch guys who fall in love and it's just an incredible story and when i was reading this i did cry a bit not streaming down my face but they were quite manly tears fitting with the theme of the book. It's the bit near the end with the shirts. After Jack has died and Ennis goes to Jack's family's home and he finds Jack's shirt hanging up and then he looks inside and there's one of Ennis's shirts that he thought he lost hidden inside it and I started crying because it was just such a sentimental moment. Manly tears though, I assure you. I'm not one of them soppy romantics that just cry over anything. That's a little bit of a lie. And then the story ends about two pages later, and it's sad. You just wish that they'd been together. The movie's incredibly successful. Even if you've not seen it, you've probably heard it. It's got Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger in, who was my childhood hero from when I saw him in A Knight's Tale, because I love that movie. That movie is like the movie of my childhood. They're all by Annie Prolux, Prolo, mm, don't know how to say it. Annie P-R-O-U-L-X. So thank you, Annie Prolux. I didn't need any more feels. I do recommend at least watching the film. The only bad thing about the book is the fact that it is really short. The full book is that long and Brokeback Mountain's only that long. Go and watch the film, even if you don't want to, for cultural reference. There are a few films that you have to see because everyone talks about them. Brokeback Mountain is one of those films. You have to see it for cultural reference. Give me an ego boost, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.